The last few examples involve inverse trig functions where you have two different functions that you're working with. And we can solve these by using a, a right triangle. So we start with the sine of the inverse tangent of negative 5 twelfths. And remember, inverse tangent means the angle whose tangent is. So we're going to start off by letting theta equal the angle whose tangent is negative 5 twelfths. So we're going to draw a triangle. And if we're talking about the inverse tangent of a negative number, that means we have to be in the fourth quadrant. So we'll draw a triangle in the fourth quadrant where the right angle is made with the x-axis. And theta is the angle that you make with the x-axis. So I know that tangent is y over x. And so I know that my, I have to decide which is positive and which is negative. And so if I'm in the, the fourth quadrant, it's the y value that is negative and the x value that's positive. Now, the length of a triangle cannot be negative, but we use a triangle to help us set up the, the trig ratio. So what I want to find is the sine of theta. I know this is theta. And if I want to find the sine of theta, I need to find r. Because I know that the sine of theta is y over r. I already know my y value is negative 5. I know that r is equal to the square root of x squared, which is 12 squared, plus negative 5 squared. So this is 144 plus 25, so 169. which equals 13. So the answer sine of theta is going to be negative 5 thirteenths, or we just say the sine of the inverse tan of negative 5 twelfths is negative 5 thirteenths. So the angle whose tangent is negative 5 over 12 has a sine of negative 5 over 13. All right, let's try the, um, the second example here, part B. I have the cosine of the sine of 1 fourth. I'm going to let theta equal the inverse sine of 1 fourth. So this is theta. I'm going to want to find the cosine of theta. The inverse sine, when the ratio is positive, is in the first quadrant. I let this be my theta. The sine is y over r, so I know the hypotenuse here is 4, the y value is 1, I need to find x. I know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x squared plus 1 squared equals 4 squared. So x is going to equal the square root of 16 minus 1. I know it's positive because I'm in the first quadrant, so I won't put the plus or minus in. So the square root of 15. So the cosine of the inverse sine of 1 fourth is equal to the square root of 15 over 4. What I'd like you to do right now is to pause the video and just try one problem on your own. Remember to define your angle and also to make sure you draw your triangle in the right quadrant. Remember, where inverse cosine, or the inverse cosine of a negative input, where should that, where, what quadrant should you be in? So we'll start by letting this be theta, inverse cosine of negative two fifths. When inverse cosine is negative, that's a second quadrant angle. Cosine is x over r. So I know r is positive, so r is 5. Then your x value is going to be negative. We need to find y. Remember, this is our theta. So I know that negative 2 squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. y is going to equal the square root of 25 minus 4. And again, y is positive because I'm in the second quadrant, so I don't need the plus or minus, I just want the plus, which would be, this would be the square root of 21. So 
I know that the cotan of theta, since tan is y over x, the cotan is x over y. So the cotan of theta, or theta is the inverse cosine of negative two-fifths, that's equal to my x-coordinate, which is negative two, over my y-coordinate, which is the square root of 21, or if you rationalize, negative two square root of 21 over 21. So inverse trig functions are, they are challenging. They are, they are very tricky. But if you put in the time that you need and you practice enough, you, you can do this. So think of it as a challenge that you need to conquer. Okay? Don't just give up on it because it looks confusing. It is definitely doable. Get some help if you need it. Come to my office hours. Go to the math lab. Do what you need to do. Um, but figure this out.